And when the mail call come during count time, you had to get on your bunk, we'd be looking at the door, because that's where they slide it under the door. If you don't get one, your heart just drops. It's the letter of encouragement that becomes the lifeline for them behind bars. Um, if you think about the fact that less than 12% of prison population get regular visitors, um, it's very understandable how life-giving a letter can be. We know that there are 2.2 million people who are behind bars right now, 95% of whom will be released, which seems like great news. Um, but then we know that two out of three of those who are released will be rearrested. For a long time, our society has been asking the question, how do we lock bad people up? But here at Crossroads, we want to ask the question, how do we send good people home? Prison can be a pretty hard, dark place. And a word of encouragement from somebody on the outside is gold. It just carries you through. Man, a letter is huge, man. Um, I felt like a baby on Christmas morning every time I got a letter. That's how excited it was. It's like having something precious like a jewel or a diamond. Friends, nobody wrote back. Family, nobody ever wrote back. And they married. It was my Bible instructor for several years. She was like a second mom that was just there for me. Uh, you know, if I was going through something, she wanted to know what was going on and spiritually hold my hand through the process. I didn't really know who Jesus was and that was something that I had to learn while I was incarcerated and a big part of that was through the crossroads and their mentorship and, and the lesson plans that were sent and the conversations that went back and forth. A letter in the mail is... The high point of my week when I uh, received those lessons. It's uh, something I feel the Lord has called me to. I have some educational background in Bible training and teaching, and this is just a beautiful fit. That kind of opened my eyes um, in terms of what is in the Bible about helping prisoners. It's pretty convincing that we have an obligation to help others and help those in prison. Uh, it gives me a sense of connecting with the prison ministry, uh, especially when I sit there and open the letters that are being sent in and seeing where all the lessons come from all over the country. Today, we have uh, over 30,000 students that are working with over 5,000 volunteers through a mail-based Bible correspondence course. Inmates will get connected to a mentor. The basic program of bringing uh, the, the church and, and church members as mentors in connection with prisoners in the, the prisons and the locations uh, around the world. But the lessons uh, are designed to build your relationship with Jesus and strengthen your relationship with the Father. 95% of these prisoners are going back to their homes by the end of their sentence. And I think it's all of our responsibilities to help them go back successfully. I don't care where you've been. I just care where you're going and to come alongside of that person and help carry him through the coming days. Serve the lost and lonely, to reach out to the widow, to the orphan, to the prisoner. And that's what Crossroads does through the mentorship program. And I wanted to be a part of that. That's what we're supposed to do. I mean, it is biblical. Yeah, we invite you to be a, a part of a movement of, of churches across the world who are taking up the call to minister and to remember those in prison. Writing a letter to those behind bars, you are actually visiting them. And when we do that, um, we are fulfilling a call from Jesus. Today, I would invite you to respond to that call by becoming a mentor, coming alongside a student as they begin to learn about God, uh, study His Word, and apply those truths to their lives. For all the things that people did for my husband and for us, just it wouldn't be right if we didn't if we didn't do the same. And I've been uh, a volunteer for Crossroads in uh, the prison ministry for about 25 years, and uh, it's been quite a rich and rewarding experience. The Bible says, "Remember people in prison like you were there with them." I can't think of a, a more clear call that the Bible actually gives us is to remember people in prison and to visit them in any way that we can. And that's what we do here at Crossroads.